All right, Mike here on Guns, Cars, and Digits. I want to show you something extremely important. This is called the running energy of a fuel. You divide the energy density of the fuel by the air-fuel ratio, and it describes how the chemistry will perform. So this is a big deal because the energy companies are they are able to renewably make methanol as a as an eco-friendly um, fuel that makes great power. But a lot of people are complaining about the energy density of methanol. Uh, people do not understand how the chemistry works. Okay? A few months ago someone was saying why it's a bad idea to have ethanol gasoline or alcohol gasoline for that matter. They said that you have to add more um, more alcohol fuel in order to combust it to make the same amount of power. Now, while that's partially true, that's also inevitable. The reason why is because your engine inherently breathes the oxygen part first. Your engine takes in air, that air is measured through the mass air flow sensor, and then through port fuel injection and in today's technology direct injection, the proper amount of gasoline is delivered. Gasoline is not added to the engine and expected to burn. Okay, it works the other way around. So by, by that requirement, more methanol fuel is burned, but the energy output on this side is the same. That's what these numbers have to, have to do with each other. The reason this is an even more significant thing is because methanol is heavily oxygenated. 50% of methanol's mass is oxygen. If you look at methanol molecules, methanol looks like methane. It has an oxygen here, otherwise it would be C1H4. Instead, we broke off one of the hydrogens and we stuck an oxygen in between the carbon and that hydrogen and we broke off. What it does is it makes that methanol molecule, it makes that methane molecule, it partially burns it, but it helps it sink and turn into a liquid that we can pour instead of it being a gas. Also, methanol cannot develop the same greenhouse gas problems that methane can. It's partially burnt. It's, you cannot unburn it. It's going to be methanol forever. Well, and it will degrade in the environment a lot faster than gasoline will, and that's the other benefit. The reason, though, I'm getting so big on the fact that methanol is 50% oxygen is if you were to omit the oxygen and accept, that, accept the fact that the oxygen is there only to modify the density of methanol, you, would, you could double the methanol density, uh, energy density. So this would be approximately 40. 19.7 times 2 is 39. Um, 39.4. Yeah, so it would be very well comparable to gasoline. On top of that, you would reap all of the knock-resistant properties of methanol. The only reason we burn gasoline, it goes back 100 years ago. A hundred years ago, scientists developed ethanol for engines, and they wanted to do a cellulose process. And they said, we, you know, we can develop some, some, uh, some bacteria to break down the stems of, of corn cobs and the corn. That way we don't have a food or fuel problem, and we'll have these great running engines. But the oil companies said, well, we do have gasoline right now. We can make different grades of it. Why don't we do that? And for the time, a hundred years ago, they said, well, we don't have to grow a crop, and we don't have to distill big batches. Yeah, oil looks like a good idea, and it did for the time. But now that we're starting to run out of oil, and we're starting to look at ways to make methanol, one of the ways we make methanol is to skip the cellulosic ethanol process, and instead, we, uh, we're able to pyrolyze it. We 
It's, it, you can distill alcohol, but you can also distill solids. The smoke that comes off of a solid is a chemical that you can catch. And that's, the, the methanol is one of those things, depending on, on the chemical and the temperature and, and some of the overhead that the energy companies have to do in order to make this work. I digress. Methanol is a superior fuel. How are we doing for time? Five minutes. Okay, great. Last one. Hydrogen's never going to be a fuel, ever. And the reason why is hydrogen has no density. Hydrogen has, is, is less than one thousandth the density of, of ethanol, methanol, or gasoline. Uh, the reason that is an issue is even though it has high energy density, you have to compress the heck out of it. You have to compress it to over a thousand PSI just to have part of the energy density. Divide 0.79 by 0 0.000089. If you think you can just put hydrogen into a gasoline engine, it'll sort of work, but not really. And the reason why is because the hydrogen occupies more space than the air. Okay? Hydrogen's density is 0 0.00009, and air is 0 0.001. So your engine's going to breathe in a whole bunch of hydrogen and just a little bit of air, and it needs to have this big air-fuel ratio, so it's, it's not going to burn right. You're never going to get it to... You're, you're going to have these 8 liter engines that behave like 2 liters. It's going to be awful. So this is really why we're trying to switch to methanol. And also, it has 1, 2, 3, 4 hydrogens already on it. And the, one, this oxygen is pre-stuck to the carbon. So when it burns, it's impossible for methanol to make black soot in your engine. That's another beautiful thing about ethanol and methanol. You can take a, a pure ethanol engine, an, an E100, or an M100, pure methanol engine, apart, and there will be no black soot in the engine. It will be clean, perfectly clean, except for a couple, the heat, the, the heat of, the, of the combustion will discolor the aluminum, but there won't be any black carbon buildup. It's perfect. So, please, push for methanol. We, you know... The aftermarket is there for you if you're willing to do the swap. And if there is enough demand for it, if you commit this, commit to it and enjoy it because you're able to get the 13 to 1 compression, if you can do that, then this can become a new fuel we use and we won't have to waste our time with 86, 87, 91, 101, C6, none of that junk. M100 at the pump. Good to go. Cherry. Thanks for watching, guys.